Today guys, we're in for a big treat. I'm at the market here in Varna. It's a glorious day once again. We've had some bad weather lately. Hello. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Very nice people. Anyways, um, we're in for a treat today. If you remember Vagiv, the master chef, who prepared us this amazing sturgeon fish, well, he's promised me a barbecue. And let me tell you that in the Caucasus, barbecue is no, you know, trivial event. They take it very, very seriously. It's not just throwing burgers and sausages on the coals. And I said, well, if you're going to prepare the meat, I'll prepare some salads. And I'm here to buy a few bits and pieces. So what we're going to prepare is hummus or hummus, depends how you say it. Shog, which is a spicy, spicy Yemen sauce and some trina, which is a tahini based sauce. So I'm here to buy a few bits and pieces and then we'll get the show on the road. How are you my friend? Nice tattoo. Kinza <laughs> Uh huh, merci. Здрасте. Кинза има? Не. Не? Не. О, кинза има? Има. Къде? Мало, малко дългичек. Да, кинза. Четири. Ами, вземи нещо и друго. Не да имам бюзамче, целина, рукола. Чакай, има рукола? Рукола е къде? Дай ми рукола. Айде. Добре. Мерси. Ще обсълд ми на бъча рукола. Why not? Next we need some chilies. I know just the place. Здрасти. Как си? Остре. Остре? Не. Не, остре, да. Да, но тата ка се остре. Пак ще си изкараш пред келя. По-добре, по-малко. Ей, ти тоже остре, да? Да. These look good. I bet they're really spicy. Още малко. Не просто ги размени. Два осемдесе? Да. Мерси. Три ингредиенти, ready for the spicy sauce. И ето, и ето. Салам алейкум. Tahini. So I didn't have a chance to get a breakfast this morning and I was in the market and I thought why not stop and visit my friend who makes these katma. I'm having it with cheese 
that's uh, kashkaval, sirene, which is like a feta cheese, and sharina sol, that fantastic Bulgarian spice. Well guys, in all the years that I've been coming here, I've never seen them work on the pavements. I've complained a lot about the pavements, but I've never seen them actually do them. But look, they're sticking with the theme of uh, broken, ugly pavements. Amazing, isn't it? So guys, I'm at this fantastic restaurant in Golden Sands. It's called Lavash. Um, there's a fast food place in, in, in the center of Varna and I got to know the guys and um, you know what, it's a brilliant place and they've let me use this place to prepare you these salads and the food and we're going to start with the chili sauce or the shog, really spicy sauce. I love this stuff, I've got it in my fridge all the time, it just lives there. And you start with just simple spicy hot chilies they can be red they can be green it's up to you and now just blend away till about this consistency this is a very strong and then you want to get a bit of parsley stick it in there like so Blend up the pasta. And this is one of my favorite things, coriander. And you can use the stalks in there, no problem. Just throw it all in. And what we're gonna do, guys, is add a little bit of water to help this thing out a bit. Just a little bit of water like that. Now guys, salt. Don't worry about the salt. You can go heavy on the salt because it's a preservative. And it's just something that you use just a little bit on your food. It's not ketchup, so don't worry about the salt. Now guys, what you're looking for is a consistency roughly like this and what we're gonna do is pour it in so guys the consistency we're looking for is approximately this and what we're gonna do now is just put a little bit of olive oil right at the end about a tablespoon and this also acts as a preservative so don't worry about it, it's olive oil. You don't want to blend the olive oil because what will happen, your spicy sauce will turn into mayonnaise. And there you have it guys, the most amazing chili sauce you will ever taste. And because other people are going to be eating. Oh. That's got some punch to it. So, hope must have. If you like spicy, try this one. So next, guys, I'm gonna make a sauce that is based on tahini, which is a sesame paste. And this is very simple as well. Get some garlic, throw it in there. Some water. Now you want to add some lemon. You can't go too much on the lemon, so. And there's no problem with getting all the insides, all the bits. Don't worry about the pips, although this lemon has no pips. Blend up some more. Now guys, add the tchina. And 
now we're going to blend up. The longer it blends, the longer it blends, the wider it gets. Really good. I think you could use a bit more salt. Guys, this is the creamy consistency you're looking to achieve. This is amazing. Over vegetables, over falafels, over whatever you want, this is the most tasty thing there is. So now guys, finally we're gonna make the hummus. Now this is one of my favorite foods. And we'll start with some chickpeas. And to that we'll add a bit of water. Just a little bit. You want to throw in your garlic and lemon. Go freely on the lemon as well, to your taste. And here we've got a little bit of cumin. Now make sure you get the finely ground cumin. And the secret is really to start with blending this. Because it blends easier. Now, what we want to do is add some trina. About one third trina. But for me, you can never have enough trina, so to your taste. And we blend. And now, the secret to getting it white colored. I don't know if you can see this, but it's kind of like a beigey kind of color. But if you want it white and gelato style, a couple of ice cubes. And I don't know why this happens, but the minute you throw in some ice cubes, it goes white and really creamy. It's cold. Oh. Now, a bit of salt. See, there's no real recipe. This is just something that you play around with and you get it right. And blend up. Hummus you will have. I like to dish it up like this. Add a few chickpeas. A little bit of cumin on top. And some lovely virgin olive oil. And here you have it guys. 
the most amazing hummus, pina and shog. And this is what's going to go perfect with the barbecued meat. So let's go and see Vagiv now and see what he's up to. So, can't wait to eat this. So guys, I'm here at the barbecue with my friend Vagiv. And look, the fire's ready. Now we're going to prepare. He's going to lo load up some skewers with the most amazing Lula kebab, da? Lula kebab. Lula kartoffel. Ah, and he's making Lula from potatoes, which is going to be super interesting. I've never had those before. Agnieszka basurma. Agnieszka basurma. Последняя сюрприз. да? Look at this. So we've got marinated lamb and his lula kebab meat, which is basically ground lamb with onions inside and uh, lamb fat, it's just so as it drips. Now you can cheat by the way, you can also make this with ground beef and lamb fat. A lot of restaurants do that uh, because it, the beef gets moist like lamb and it gives it that lamb flavor. But here we're doing lamb on lamb. And the potatoes. And the vegetables. Why, why, why? Ah, look at this. He's actually slit them open and lamb put gir. lamb gir, lamb fat inside the eggplants or the aubergines. Этот жир тает внутри, солью вместе, и баклажан бывает особый вкус. So he said, they get heat hot and the, the lamb, the fat on the inside melts and uh, he said it gives it a very unique taste. Это огнешка. Огнешка бастурма. Да. Огнешка бастурма. Поранена бастурма или... <laughs> basically, lamb basturma. So basically, So we basically deboned, or he rather deboned a whole leg of lamb and then cut off the pieces and there's um, parsley and coriander, onions, uh, salt, pepper. See he prepares all the skewers first so as they go on together because they'll be cooking at the same time. That way they all come off at the same time. Now, look at this skill. So he's dipped his hand in a bit of water. He said you have to have salt in the water. And he makes two balls. You have to wet your hand. He said it's very important. Wow. Krasata. So he basically divided it up more or less where he put the two pieces and uh, oh, that's a skill. I've tried doing this myself, it doesn't work out. But this guy knows what he's doing. Look at these guys. He's doing it with potato, mashed potato. What's that? It's a cartoshka, luk, jarin. Luk jarin. Or gurdjushna jiri. Or you can also use salad. Salad also you can. In this jarin it's jarin. Yes. Kurkuma, obviously. Kurkuma gives the taste of the salad and the good flavor. Yes. 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 Yes.
This looks amazing, guys. I've never had these. <laughs> Не надо вот это. Его буду снимать, ты кайф получать. Да, это будет красиво. Вообще, кебаб должен быть вот эти шашлыки рядом овощной. Всегда овощной. Или картошки кебаб, или баклажан, помидоры. или помидоры. Можно и помидоры тоже есть, мне кажется. По-моему, есть. Там мука идет или что-нибудь? Нет, нет, нет. Какая мука? Нет, потому что он очень такой густой. Густой это картошка густая. Ну, все секреты рассказать, значит, без дела останешься. Без работы останешься. Guys, this is looking... Amazing. Между прочим, в регионе только сейчас, только в Азербайджане делают картошку. А, да? Да. He says this is a typical thing from Azerbaijan. It's the only place where только, they make только. Uh, basically potato lula. lula. Potato да, да, только в Азербайджане это картофельные люди делают. Она должна ровно быть, как всегда. Ровно, чтоб было. О. Между прочим, один с Израиля, или с Баку, еврей. Как он кукой делает, на практике никто не может. Да? Да. Он вот этим, этим. Быстро-быстро так делает, что они, они, маленькие. они маленькие и одно, как будто асфальт одного раза. Интересно просто. Он вот, знаешь, и очень быстро. Он из Баку, э, Тель-Авив, это едет за только все оплачено, дорогу мало. Вот только что там сделать, шашлык вернется, 5 тысяч долларов. Серьезно? Да. Он так э, мастер, да? Мастер, мастер. 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 Хороший мастер. Я его одобряю только что он ну, так аккуратно это делает, понимаешь? Ставить. Вот. Будет а это тоже кто-то может быть. Вот это можно на легкий отжим поставить. Первое мясо ставить, что она долго варится. Не долго, а в сравнении с большим временем. Это, я тебе скажу, здесь очень много жарит в Европе. У нас немножко цвет поменял, немножко. Начал желтеть, снимать кушунки. Да. Сочно. Да. 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 И вот что сушит уже его вкус уходит. Первое, первое это сразу надо поменять. Почему? Знаешь? Почему? Когда вот сверху жарит, а быстро, и с другой стороны же. Не, не отпускает сок выходить. А -а -а. Да, сок не отпускает. Сок остается внутри. Только а некоторые прав... ждут, что одна сторона пожарилась, потом вторая. Нельзя. Надо сразу поменять, что она как будто мясо сам себя панирует. Mm. И сок остается внутри. A client. So if you want to try any of these things and you don't see them on the menu, just say, "Hey guys, I saw this on the video and I want to try this." Hey, why? 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 I'm looking so forward to this. This is an experience. 
And if you're ever in Golden Sands, make sure you come to this place, Lavash. And Uncle Vagiv here will make you a treat like you've never had. Amazing. Krasata. Well, he just said, he just announced that the food is ready. And I'll tell you what, I don't even know what to say. It just looks amazing. And this whole, I mean, just to show you, have you ever seen a barbecue like this? Look at this. This is not a joke. This is serious, heavy duty barbecuing. Because as I said, in the Caucasus, whether it's Armenia, Georgia, Azerbaijan, this is serious business. It's not just hamburgers and hot dogs. This is a whole ritual. This is a tradition. And uh, it's got to go with a drink too. So I think me and Vagiv here are going to have a little drink. Вагиф просто молодец. Видишь, как звучит. Как для этого. Она когда снимаешь, тоже звучит. Блюдо готово. Первое. Молодцы. Спасибо. На здоровье. Look at this, guys. Amazing. Even his onion is delicious. So guys, this bread here is typical Armenian bread. It's called lavash. It's amazing. It's got no yeast. It's got about three ingredients, salt, flour, and water, I think. But the way they do it is just amazing. Now I'm going to show you how I like to eat this. First, I'll get a little bit of hummus, put it on the base. I love this stuff. Then get myself a little lula. Some shog. Now this is spicy guys, so be careful, but I absolutely love this stuff. And... Trina. Honestly, you couldn't ask for anything better. Oh, Vagif deserves another shot after this. This is amazing, guys. If you've never had Caucasian or Kafkazi barbecue, Come to Lavash in Golden Sands, it's amazing. Hey. Guys, 
Is Vagif, that was fantastic. Спасибо, Вагиф. Скажи, enjoy your journey. Enjoy your journey.